Welcome to the Cal Corporation's series of videos about software engineering. The topic of this video is a binary heap implementation built into C++. Before proceeding, make sure that you have already watched these other videos first. Algorithm theory defines a binary heap data structure, which is some kind of binary tree that has a property called the heap property. For the heap property, each tree node has some special data member called its key. For each parent node, that parent node's key is at least as large as either of its children. The heap property requires that your tree is shaped, and a shaped tree is a balanced tree. In a balanced tree, each parent has approximately the same number of descendants on its left-hand side as on its right-hand side. The exception is that the bottommost row does not need to be completely full. This allows you to have any tree size, not only the powers of two. In a shaped tree, the part of the bottom row that does have data must be all the way to the left. For some other general tree, you usually would have allocated each tree node individually, as needed, using dynamic allocation. But because of the compactness of a shaped tree, you only need to make one single memory allocation for the entire storage of a binary heap. You can use array indexing to access each individual node within that single allocation. For a given parent node at index i, its left child is at 2 times i plus 1, and its right child is at 2 times i plus 2. In STL, by default, the underlying collection class is a vector, but you could select an alternative underlying collection class. By default, STL uses this sort class, which causes the normal heap property to be enforced, where the tree root contains the binary heap's largest item but you could select some other sort class. For example, it's common that some other applications want to have a min heap, where the heap property enforces the opposite inequality. A binary heap is useful if you need to be able to frequently identify and then remove the largest item in a collection repeatedly without that collection being linearly sorted. STL exposes the functions that it uses to implement a binary heap data structure. The isHeap function tests if some arbitrary collection is currently satisfying the heap property. You can query isHeap until, which returns how far you can go before the heap property gets violated. Calling makeHeap will reorder vector items so that they will have the heap property. Call push heap if everything except the last item is already a heap. Calling pop heap first removes the heap's root and then remakes the heap property while promoting a new item to the root. <laughs> 